It is day 19 of Manifest Your Best Life in 88 Days. And today we are going to very specifically talk about heart chakra healing as we are getting our chakra system, the main seven in alignment. My name is Dr. Lisa Brewer. I am a doctor of metaphysics and divinity. And uh, so I can't write your prescription, but I sure as heck can recommend a good crystal or a good oil for you. Okay. Now we're going to talk about the heart chakra um, and how to get it healed up and how to get yourself in alignment. And it's really, really important that we do this early in our 88 days within this first 30 days of this, this kind of three months so that the next couple of months, it's we're allowing the energy to flow, okay? We're allowing the energy to flow. You're going to see a lot of great manifestations, and you're going to see your life come into alignment in the way that it was designed to or that you designed for it to come into alignment with a quickness, as they used to say. Now, the heart chakra in Sanskrit is called anahata. And that word means unhurt, unstruck, and unbeaten. Anahata, unhurt, unstruck, unbeaten. The heart always wins, doesn't it? The heart always wins. It is never defeated. And if you can remember that that's what anahata means, then we see what was originally meant or what is meant for our heart chakra, the, 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 the way it is meant to exist is for it to be unhurt, unstruck and unbeaten. It's not meant for you to be heartbroken. It's not meant for you to be defeated. It is not meant for you not to feel loved and be able to have unconditional love for others. It's not meant for you not to have compassion for others and for people not to have compassion for you. It is not meant for you to not be full of joy or joyful. It is not meant for you to be not at peace or at dis-ease, nothing missing, nothing broken. And as you already know, the heart chakra is the gateway from this upper, the spiritual realm and the lower, the physical realm. Anahata is associated with the element of air. Okay. So if you come up through the chakras, the first is earth steady and grounded, right? The second chakra is water, the creativity, third chakra is fire, that fire in your belly. And now we've got the air to kind of like do what? (sighs) Breathe life. Think of the breath of life. This is what your heart chakra to me represents, all right? It is associated with the color green. So I've been wearing a lot of green lately. It's kind of interesting. Lots of greens and lots of purples. Um, so it, it's like this, this life-giving green energy. So if you're feeling kind of down, heartbroken, downtrodden, wear some green. Find some green. Put green around you you know, plants and other things, green, 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 green. Malachite um, is a great heart. I am not even there to the crystals, but I'm just going to throw that out there. Malachite definitely is one of my top, my top um, heart healing crystals. How are you going to know if your fourth chakra or the heart chakra is blocked? Um, It directly affects your heart, your lungs, your chest, your arms, your hands. Um, if you're like dealing with high or low blood pressure, if there's any other heart or lung conditions, that kind of is a physical representation of what's going on with your heart chakra. Okay. I'm trying to get this right. Okay. (laughs) Um, bronchitis, circulatory issues, lung issues, all of that, right? Um, blocked energy can have a, a, you know, a bad, uh, effect on our mental clarity and our, and our mind state. Okay. So if you're finding yourself very codependent, um, if you're finding yourself wanting to be manipulative or being easily manipulated, feeling of uh, feelings of unworthiness, inability to trust yourself or others, these are all things. So if you're isolating yourself a lot excessively, 
feelings of loneliness, if you're holding grudges against people, if you frequently feel jealousy, these are all signs that your heart chakra is probably experiencing some blockage that we need to release and get you back in alignment. Um, love can't flow through there if it's you're going throughout, right? If you're feeling jealous about things, you're not feeling in love. Um, if you're overly defensive, okay, if you've always got to be like, oh my God, oh my God, you know, you're always explaining yourself. Fear of intimacy, if you are the rescuer or the victim all the time and you find it difficult to trust others, these are all symptoms of blocked or misaligned heart chakras. And I'm going to tell you something, empath. Sometimes the issue in misalignment or imbalance is not that it's blocked, but that you are overly expanded. If you are overly like compassionate to everybody but yourself, um, if you give too much, people pleasing, all these things, your heart chakra is way too big. We have to get it back in alignment. Okay. We have to get it back in alignment. It's enlarged. <laughs> you have an enlarged heart, right? So how are we going to balance it? One of the um, easiest ways to balance it, I was looking for a good yoga pose. I don't see a good yoga pose for that. Um, sorry about that. I didn't write that down. Um, if you are, you're keeping a, a gratitude journal, like, or sometimes I just say what I'm grateful for every day, write down three things that, that you feel grateful for. Anything that just gets you in this love and this joy, right? Back bends of any sort are going to help. Okay, back bends of any sort. Let's see here. What other? What, oh, the cobra pose, um, upward facing dog, bridge, fish, those poses. Okay, those are going to help. Why? Because you're kind of opening yourself up. This, this motion of being of backwardness is like a motion of trust. So you know how sometimes you'll hear about in corporate America, they'll have like the trust exercise where you allow yourself to fall back into the arms of your coworkers. When you do that, right, then that's when you're showing trust. So even this pose here, that motion actually shows that you trust yourself. You're opening yourself up to allowing your heart to flow. Um, when you're doing meditations, a loving kindness meditation, so loving of self, compassionate for self, one of the biggest, the biggest things in healing your heart chakra, one of the biggest ways I healed my own heart chakra, right, was I did a lot of studying um, of Kuan Yin. And if you can study the teachings of Kuan Yin, Q-U-A-N-Y-I-N, two words, uh, or K as in kite, U-A-N-Y-I-N, you can study those that's really this the 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 goddess of passion, compassionate, mother, loving. It the, it's just beautiful. We'll begin to heal yourself, right? Rose quartz, of course, is the an, an amazing crystal for heart opening. Um, drinking things like rose teas and doing doing heart opening affirmations all are going to help. That's again that I am loved, I am joy, I am peace right? I have compassion for myself. I, you know, I have compassion for all of that sort of thing. Those are all going to begin to bring you back into balance and setting good boundaries. Don't let people continue to run all over you. Okay. Don't let people don't, don't, don't like be so hard on yourself about, you know, bad experiences or bad relationships. And, and then also don't be so hard on the other person as well. Like forgive yourself and forgive the other person. That doesn't mean you need to let the toxicity in. So this is this is a little bit more of a tricky one, but this is the true empowerment when you get to this space, okay? All right, guys, that's the heart chakra. We're of course gonna go to the throat chakra next, then the third eye, then the crown, and then we really get to start moving with energetic flow. And until next time, now don't forget, give me a like, a subscribe, a follow, a share, all that, whatever platform you're watching me on, do all the things of the things, comment below how this resonated with you. And so that I can assist you further with the heart chakra healing until next time. Don't ever forget, give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. Have a great one. Bye.